What's going on YouTube? It's Sean back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a mods folder for GTA 5. Um, basically what the mods folder is, basically it creates, um, creates you a backup for mods. Basically mods only. Um, if you, uh, blah, 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 blah. you basically want to um, have this folder because if you install a, a mod that's going to break your game, or a mod that breaks your games or game because you're not gonna know if it breaks your game just by installing it um it's basically the only way you're gonna know if it breaks your game is if you start the game up and your game doesn't run then your game's broke and then if you don't have this mods folder then you're gonna be going back and basically reinstalling gta 5 because you don't have no other folder no other files to replace the uh modded files and the modded files are just continuously going to break your game. Now, the mods folder is really easy to create. Some people just don't do it. They just think that, you know, all mods are, you know, good, 100% safe. I mean, I'm not saying they all, they're all they all bad, but there's a good few share mods out there that just don't work. Um, That's just the nature of the game. They just they just won't work. Um, the mods folder, those, like I said, is easy, very easy to create. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how to create it. Um, so, first things first is go into your GTA 5 directory, which would be Steam, Steam Apps, Common, GTA 5. If you have Rockstar, it'd be Rockstar Games and <laughs> Program Program Files, Rockstar Games, GTA 5, I think. I don't know. I don't have the Rockstar version. That was a good guess. So, I don't know if it is or isn't. But anyway, you want to right click, hit new, go to folder. Now, I already have it done, but you want to put type in mods uh, yes for me it's gonna actually create a whole new file for you there'll be no other option like that all right first thing you want to do is go down to update you want to copy it you want to paste it into your mods folder now I'm not gonna it's gonna ask me to replace files and stuff because I already have it installed in there but um, at least it should Anyway, you want to go down to the X64 file, you want to go ahead and copy that one. This is going to be your sound file, or your audio file. That way, if you want to install audio, you can install it. Um, back up your files, but you want to copy the X64 folder, paste it in the mods folder as well. Then you want to go all the way down. You're going to find X64E. That's E as an echo, copy that one, paste it into the mods folder. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip all these files because I already have them in there. It's gonna take forever to reinstall them again. All right, you wanna put E in there. Then we go X64 I. I as an indigo. You wanna paste that into your mods folder as well. I'm gonna let us do his thing since I already, you know, I already have it done. I'm showing you guys that way you understand. Next, you want to get x64w. You want to go up to mods. You want to right click paste. So, after all that is said and done, if you click on the mod folder, you'll see that you have the update and stuff like that. x64 audio. The files told you to copy. If you notice, if you ever use OpenIV, you'll notice that the update X64 DLC packs, it's right there. I tell you install car mods. So if you install a car mod and it somehow just doesn't work with your game, you can just right click, delete, and your game will work again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you an OpenIV, um, how it, that it works in OpenIV. Um, uh, load up. All right, you see right here, you have a mod folder. Um, you can right click it or right click it, <laughs> double click on it to open it up. You'll see you have the, you know, I'll sh give you an example. So, update, then update RPF. Uh, wait, whoops, I was getting confused. Go to X64 DLC packs. Uh, patch day. Uh, we'll go to 17. 
Uh, we'll go to 18. What the heck? That's mods in there. No, actually, I don't have the mods. The new folder. Oh, well. Whatever's in here, we'll show you. Uh, let's see the tornado. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you an example. Um, this is basically the path you're going to install your cars. Your replacement cars, that is. Um, for mods. You see, you got um, a mixer. It's not really a mod, but you can see the file. But yeah, so basically, there's your mods folder. Um, like I said, it's going to be the... And honestly, some files won't let you install it unless you install it to a mods folder. I, I've been noticing that recently. But yeah, mods folder, it's all here. Um, that's pretty much it for the mods folder. Um, nothing real, you know, strenuous. Rather, it's... Uh, I might have just deleted mine, but... <laughs> I'll put that in there. There we go. I don't know, I just broke it. Anyway, but it's not, it's not a very strenuous uh, task at all. Um, it's it's rather simple, but it's also a... Um, it Just by having that mods folder, it prevents a lot of monitors from getting smashed. <laughs> and computers from getting broke. Because um, it's simple. You just, hey, my game don't work. Delete that mods folder and create a new one. If you're like me, I have um, basically couple different versions of GTA 5 but um, here's my other one right here's my backup but I already have a mods folder in here so all I really gotta do is just you know right click delete this one and just replace that one with the other one in my mods folder so that way it's a lot easier for me I mean it's the same folder um, that's what it is um, I also have a redux mods fo redux version mods folder I'm not sure why beam and G's in there, but <laughs> but yeah, I have a um a mods folder that has uh, Redux and Natural Vision in there. So I can just drop that in there and just start playing. But yeah, that's basically the installation of GTA 5 mods folder. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you. Have a good day.